Hi, and welcome to this production expert demonstration of the Genelec GLM3 correction software being used with the Genelec network adapter and the Genelec 8331 SAM monitor system. Don't forget, you can read the entire review, including our verdict, at the link in the description beneath this video. And there's a whole host of other great reviews that you can see on the production expert site in the review section. So today, we're at my mobile setup, which is currently in my own dining room. So as you can hear, this is far from an ideal acoustic environment. It's very ringy, there's hard floors and hard walls, which uh, when you have the speakers mounted against the walls here, like I have, which is the only place I can have them because of the space, you get a very challenging acoustic response from most loudspeakers. So we're going to be using Genelec's GLM3 correction software, along with the network adapter and a pair of Genelec 8331 SAMs that I've got mounted here on an average household desk. So the first thing you need to do is fire up GLM and start a new group. GLM is reporting that it has two devices on its network stack. And when you pick it up to drag and drop, to place it into your soundscape, the speaker emits pink noise and flashes the green light on the front of the casing. That was the right, so here's the left. So I just need to confirm the layout of the room there. On a multi-channel system, you can even add height and surround. So I'll give the group a name. Let's call it Production Expert Demo. And I need to select whether it's an analog or digital input. And I can even add a video delay compensation to compensate for projectors or large screens which have a slow rate of getting the images up there. Once I've confirmed this group, I can now get on with optimizing. There are two modes for this, single point or multi-point. I'm going to use single point because I only have a small listening area. I'm not going to use the AutoCal Cloud for the moment because it's still in beta. But one important setting I am going to select here is that I am not going to share the same equalizer settings between the left and right. This is because this is a very oddly shaped room. I'm in a corner and I've got a big reflective wall right to my right hand side here. So it's just now a case of putting the microphone in my listening position. And I've got the microphone at my ear height when I'm sat, but when I take this measurement, I am going to stay behind the microphone because this is where I'm normally sat and this is where my body normally absorbs some of the sound. So let's double click on the microphone and get cracking. So now you can see that GLM is working out the correction for the left-hand speaker. And now the right hand speaker. And now it's done. So we'll just confirm the calibration. If there was anything going on, like excessive background noise while you were taking the calibration, then you can always remeasure it. But we'll confirm it for now. Now we have full remote control over the monitor system. So we can mute the whole system, we can dim it, we can control its overall gain, and we can even bypass the auto calibration. One nice touch is that if I hit the mute button on the GLM, the lights on the front of the speakers light up red. If you should so wish to personalize the frequency responses of your speaker system, 
then you just need to double click on the speaker that you want to adjust. And it brings up the full frequency response here, along with all the monitor info. You can update the firmware. You can send test tones to the speakers, uh, turning off the woofer, mid-range, and tweeter. You can adjust the overall level and delay. And you can completely adjust all the frequency response of the system that GLM has set up. And you can check the status of all the dip switches. So with this system controlling these speakers, you really can just place them and forget about all the back panel settings. So that's it for this demonstration of the Genelec GLM3 correction system with the 8331 SAM monitors. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.